Ah, Roblox, what a beautiful and innocent platform. Well, not anymore. Now we've got TikTok, we've got oh Stitch oh Faces, God, oh Voice Chat, and then Pedo. Uh, all right, enough of that. We are not here to talk about those. Today, I would like to talk about this one particular game on the platform. Its name is Bee Swarm Simulator. Now, why this game, you may ask? Well, it's very, very addicting. I'm trapped in a hellhole. I need help immediately. Get me out of here before it's too late. I'm becoming addicted to this game. Well, it's just like any other simulator. You collect, you turn it into money, you buy things, and you repeat the whole process. But in this game, there's a, there's much more than that. There's bees. Alright, I'm just kidding. Uh, there's actually some interesting mechanics such as different bees and abilities, tools containing different abilities in them as well, different flower colors, uh, the list goes on. But I'm not here to praise this game. I'm here to explain why you should never, ever play this game, let alone touch it. So, uh, Mr. Crackers, why is it why is it very addicting? Well, you see, you have a lot of things to do. And when I mean a lot, I literally mean a lot. You hatch different bees, You'll all need, with uh, different abilities. There are different abilities as well. Yeah. 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 See, I told you. Doing all these tasks gives you so much satisfaction and you want more. So you play a bit more and uh, would you look at that? You already spent two hours into the game without realizing it. So this is the time where you alt F4. You just spend another one hour. See what I mean about it being very addicting? Uh, there's just something very satisfying about having your character become stronger over time. And buying new tools, upgrading your hive, getting a honey. But as soon as you progress into the game, it gets a bit more and more time consuming. This means that you could just be playing this game 24-7, which is very, very dangerous and can potentially ruin your life. That's really bad, right? Now quit the game and you just spend another two hours. Great. Now the numbers on your screen do look satisfying, but please quit before it's too late. Like, what's the point of getting all these stuff, huh? What's the point of getting billions and billions of honey? What's the point of getting these items anyway? Why don't you work hard in real life instead of this game, huh? Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that I was a veteran in this game? Why do I still enjoy 